patriarchs of Genesis, those men of the Old Testament who help us to see Jesus. Adam, Noah, Abraham, even Melchizedek, someone as who has such a small role in the scriptures, all of it points us to Jesus, to teach us about Jesus so that we can see and know him and his work better. In this episode, we talk about Isaac, that son of Abraham. Now, there's not a great detail of uniqueness about the life of Isaac, and sort of to summarize, Isaac, like father, like son, as it went with Abraham, so it goes with Isaac, but the one notable story, the one account that we have of Abraham and Isaac is the binding of Isaac, the near sacrifice of Isaac. Oftentimes we focus our attention on Abraham's obedience, his faithfulness to God and to his word, but we also ought to take note of Isaac. He's old enough to know what's going on. He's old enough to know what his father is doing, that they are preparing to go and make a sacrifice to the Lord, and he knows there's no sacrifice. He knows there's no goat or sheep or ram. There's no animal to be killed. But yet he picks up the wood that is going to be used for the sacrifice. He carries the wood himself on his back, obedient to his father allowing himself even to be bound and tied to this altar that is made, that he would be sacrificed. Isaac is obedient to his father to the point of death, to the point that he is as good as dead, to the point that Abraham has the knife over his head to kill his own son, and Isaac lays there faithful. And God saves him. God raises him up. He offers a ram in his place. And so from Isaac, who is as good as dead, he is raised up again off of the altar to live, to come down to the mountain to be reunited with family again. So we see Christ. So we see Jesus obedient to his father to the point of death, even death upon a cross, knowing that he would be raised to new life, that he would overcome sin and death so that we might be spared. He is that obedient, faithful sacrifice to take our place because he is faithful to the Father, so you are forgiven. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.